हेलो बच्चों लेट सी दिस क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन से इज एक्सप्लेन द हार्डी विनबर्ग प्रिंसिपल विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन एल्जेब्रिक इक्वेशन सो द की कंसेप्ट हेयर इज वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड हमें पता होना चाहिए हार्डी विनबर्ग प्रिंसिपल वॉट डू वी अंडरस्टैंड बाय हार्ड एंड विनबर्ग प्रिंसिपल सो अकॉर्डिंग टू हार्ड एंड विनबर्ग प्रिंसिपल द एलील द एलील and genotypic and genotype frequency in a population in a population will remain constant will remain constant remain constant from generation to generation constant from generation to generation in the absence of in the absence of other evolutionary influence so what does the hardy venberg principle says it says the allele and genotypic frequencies in an population will remain constant from generation to generation in the absence of any other evolutionary influence jab tak koi evolutionary influence nahi aata hai tab tak jo allele aur genotypic frequencies hain wo same rehti hain wo constant rehti hain from different generation to generation right so what happens is in a population of diploid organism so ek example ke through hum understand karte hai is principle ko so what happens is in a population of diploid organism if frequency of allele if frequency of allele capital a is p and the frequency of allele small a is q then the frequency or expected genotypic frequency under random mating r agar hum capital a capital a ka dekhe then it will be p square frequency kya hogi hamari p square for a a homo homo zygotes homo zygotes right and for small a small a it will be the frequency will be q square for small a small a homo zygotes right then capital a and small a it will be 2 pq right for a small capital a small a heterozygote heterozygotes so random mating me random mating me the frequency of frequency will be for capital a capital a p square for small a small a q square and for capital a and small a it will be 2 pq so therefore in the absence of selection mutation genetic drift or any other forces p and q will remain constant in absence of any mutation selection or any other evolutionary influence right therefore the equation will be the algebraic equation will be therefore the equa algebraic equation will be p square plus 2 pq plus q square is equals to 1 kya ho gaya hamari algebraic equation so algebraic equation will be p square plus 2 pq plus q square is equals to one that is the p and q will remain constant in absence of any mutation selection or any other evolutionary influence i hope you understood it best of luck